Good morning, Royals. Today is Wednesday, October 30th, 2024. My name is Camden. And I'm Alina. And, and this, this is the Royal Rundown. Rundown. Ping Pong Club will have a call-out meeting today during Pathways B. Sign up and enriching students for B114 if interested. Tomorrow's spirit day for Red Women Week is Dress Like Your Future. The activity will be Life is a Movie recording outside the main cafeteria. HSC Book Club will be holding a meeting today during Pathways A to discuss the book All My Rage by Saba Tahir. Sign up for the library and enriching students if you're wanting to attend. Now it's time for Ivan with Your World News. Thanks guys, Israel's parliament, the Knesset, voted to ban the UN Relief and Works Agency for Palestine Refugees, known as UNRWA, from operating in Israel, a move which will seriously impact UNRWA's ability to aid refugees within the occupied Palestinian territories. Before the vote, U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken warned that the ban could have implications under U.S. law and U.S. policy. And UN Security General Antonio Guterres said on October 8th that in the midst of all the upheaval, UNRWA more than ever is indispensable. UNRWA more than ever is irreplaceable. UNRWA currently aids 1.7 million refugees in Gaza and another 870,000 refugees in the West Bank and Jerusalem, as well as Palestinian refugees in Jordan, Lebanon, and Syria. Fallout from Donald Trump's rally in Madison Square Garden continues after many speakers drew backlash. Comedian Tony Hinchcliffe has drawn some of the most media attention after he called the U.S. territory of Puerto Rico a floating island of garbage in the middle of the ocean, among other racially charged statements about black Americans and Palestinians. The Trump campaign responded after the event, saying that Hinchcliffe's statements do not reflect the views of President Trump or the campaign. The Harris campaign has used the rally as a line of attack, condemning the rhetoric of the event. CBS News' Marcia Kramer pointed out the high population of Latina voters in the swing states of Arizona and Nevada, as well as black voters in North Carolina and Georgia, and a large Palestinian-American population in Michigan. Political consultant O'Brien Murray told CBS that he doesn't think it will affect the results of the election. With just six days until the election, we will keep you up to date on all changing information. Now on to Maya with Sports News. Good morning, Royals. For your Indiana news today, the Indiana Fever coach Christy Sides has been fired after two seasons with the Fever. The Pacers lost on Monday, 98-123. to Anthony Richardson is being criticized after subbing himself out for a game for being tired. What's up, Royals? It's Joshua Logan in with your entertainment news today. Actor Timothy Chalamet made a surprise appearance in his own look-like contest in Manhattan on Sunday, an event that drew in hundreds of doppelgangers, noise complaints, and one arrest. That is all for your news today, Royals. Back to the studio. After your news today, Royals, thank you for helping us keep you informed and up to date on all things HSE.